Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to this episode of Cheap vs. Expensive. I'm Jimbo and today we're going to be talking about two of the hottest products of 2019. How do I know? Well, both the videos that I did on each one of these products individually did extremely well. So first up on the cheap side, we have this. This is Meguiar's Hybrid Ceramic Wax. It's ceramic made easy. Uh, production and durability beyond conventional wax. Simple spray on rinse off and dry. Uh, we know that according to step four, it does say that you need to actually wipe in the initial application. So we have that on the cheap side. This could be picked up anywhere from about $15 to $25, depending on where you're getting it, uh, for this 26 ounces. So relatively inexpensive, especially to step into that ceramic realm. Uh, on the expensive side, we have this. This is Adam's ceramic spray, or yeah, ceramic spray spray coating and this eight ounce bottle was $40 uh, and they have a 16 ounce option at $80. So quite a big difference between the two. Uh, if you don't say so myself, uh, you get, <laughs> the Meguiar's you get, you know, 10 ounces extra than the $80 bottle for about 12. They are currently, or they were at the time of this video recording uh, rebates on the Meguiar's. So you could check that out if possible. But what I want to see between these, these these two products is, is there different water behavior between the two? Does the Meguiar's bead water more than the Adams or vice versa? And then of course, we're gonna do the durability test. Which one holds up longer? Now, because of, I did the Adams and they claim to be 9H with that one, uh, on the test panel, what I wanted to make sure I did, and I'll show you right here, is that I wanted to make sure I had the, the panel completely bare of any waxes, coating, sealants, anything. So I took a couple extra measures uh, I hit it with uh, the Flex Force Rotation DA with a microfiber pad and some compound and compounded the whole uh, panel, uh, as you can see here. Um, and then even after that, I went a couple steps further and I, again, used uh, G-Technic panel wipe and removed any waxes. It's basically an alcohol. I removed any waxes and sealants. Then I created in the middle uh, two tape lines and down the middle. That's gonna be my control section in the middle there. Um, and then on the right hand, side, I'm going to apply the Adams. On the left hand side, I'm going to apply the Meguiar's. Um, and when I apply the Meguiar's, I'm going to follow step four, which actually has you rub in the product. Uh, and then of course with Adams, I'm going to let, uh, I'm going to apply it, I'm going to spray it into the towel. That's how they show it. Last time I played it, applied it on the panel. I haven't seen any difference uh, in the application, but for this one, I'm going to spray it on the towel. As we know from previous videos, it doesn't harden in the towel, so I don't have to worry about that. It hasn't hardened in the sprayer. Um, and then we're gonna test it out, see what it's like. So here we go. So after I apply the coatings to their respective sides, I'm also gonna give a 72 hour cure time for this process. Now, the Meguiar's, they do not say anything about a cure time. And the Adams one is, they're a little vague. I've watched a few of their videos and they're a little vague on the exact cure time. So I thought for good measure, I'm gonna give it three days, fully full cure time. It's gonna be sitting indoors, not gonna be exposed to any elements or wind or anything. Uh, it's gonna simply set, and the reason why I pick three days is because I feel like that's an accurate, um, you know, seven full days seems too extreme. Uh, 24 hours is probably a little bit more realistic, but I want to go beyond that. So I'm going to let it fully cure for three days and then I will re uh, shoot this video or actually I'll move on to the next segment here. Uh, so for you, it will be two seconds and for me, it'll be a few days. Uh, so let's see how well these products hold up. Let's see if one beads differently than the other, which I hope it does. Uh, and let's get right into it. Before we get started with this test, I want to make a public service announcement. It's a great idea to wear gloves when doing messing with these chemicals. You don't really know what these companies put in these things. So 
as we begin this kind of torture test, let's start by, uh, of course we have the Adams on the right, Meg's on the left. It's been about four days um, and I marked it because I'm not that smart and I'd probably forget. So let's look at the initial water beading, water sheeting of both of these products. Of course we have our test panel in the middle. So you can see the bare, the bare clear coat there in the middle is um, beading a little bit because bare clear coat does, but also sheeting. But you can see the nice round beads on both of these products. Again, we're talking about the Meguiar's around the $15 range and the Adams around the $40 to $80 range, kind of depending on the size that you go for. But as far as water beading is concerned after a cure time, uh, just to reiterate, the Meguiar's doesn't really have a cure time. The Adams is kind of vague on it, uh, but you can still see at this point significant water beading. And a lot of you, or a few of you rather, have mentioned that is water beading really that good? Water beading honestly is not good. I think you would rather have your clear coat do that <clears throat> because look at how much less water is on the surface just with bare clear coat than water beading. But that's here nor there. That's a story for another day, boys and girls. So that is what the application looks like fresh. And from what it looks like, you really can't tell which one is different. So let's get this, let's get this off. Okay, so the first order of business that is up is the Griot's iron and fallout remover. Let's see if it has any impact on either one of these. I'm running low on my cleaners here and my iron removers and this has just been a way to kind of uh, suck up product that I'm not gonna use in any other capacity. So if you have any suggestions for products, please leave a comment below. All right, let's rub this in. Not that you would rub in an iron remover, but again, this is a torture test and we're having fun here. Not, we're, we're trying to mimic what could happen. As you can see, it's a windy day today and the camera probably picked that up. You saw the breeze come through and actually lift up the chemical and move it. So it's really not that far-fetched of an argument that when you spray stuff on your car, it is traveling to other parts of the car, which is why I do these torture tests because you use products on the inside, the outside, heavy cleaners, and I just wanna see what's breaking down our waxes, sealants, and potentially coating. So let's rinse this off. And let me hit it with my wet towel. I think that the towel wipe, so I'll do it again on the Adam side as well. And I know we're only dealing with an iron fallout remover, but I noticed this when I did the other Adams one. If you look when I wipe the towel, right? You see how the water's kind of like sheeting off? And then when you wipe it on the bare clear coat, it's doing it, but not as fast. And that's a good example right there. Let's see. I think that is a good sign that there's something still there still fighting it off but let's see after that so kind of per my earlier argument if water beating isn't really good what is good water sheeting and why is water beating not good because it leaves a lot of water on your car and when it rains or you some anything you know any water comes in contact if the water's staying on the surface that's not really what you want so so this is interesting. We see uh, the Adams has kind of definitely taken a beating. Um, that, that water beating behavior is not there anymore. The Meguiar's is still holding on to that, but the, the Adams has definitely taken a beating and the Meguiar's is holding up a little bit better. So let's dry this off.
And now we're gonna bring a new person, a new product into the game, and that is Optimum Power Clean. You see it here? It's a revolutionary product that is specially formulated and safely clean wheels and tires as well as other automotive surfaces except glass. It's eco-friendly, safe on vehicle surfaces, safe for the user. So this is the 17 ounce, using it straight from the bottle. So Power Clean was a recommendation from one of you, a listener, said, hey, can you try Optimum Power Clean to see if it removes anything? Has a nice, pleasant scent, can be diluted five to one per the label says. So let it kind of dwell in there. So again, you may be degreasing your tires down. You may be spraying this on the front to remove bugs. Maybe spraying it on the back to remove some sort of junk. This is, you know, I've seen, I've definitely seen Optimum Power Clean sprayed on paint before. So if you are spraying it on paint, is it gonna damage either one of these products? These tests are so fun, and, and honestly, I can't believe how well this uh, panel is holding up. It's crazy. Toyota for life, you know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. This is, oh, and it's uh, OEM paint, nothing aftermarket. I picked it up out of, the, out of the junkyard. Not out of the junkyard, out of the body shop. Swipe that off. Or rinse that off, rather. You hit it with the wet towel. So the process on that evaporation on the McGuire side, like I was just talking about, after the iron and fallout remover, you could see how much more or how much slower that water's evaporating after the towel wipe. See that, it's still kind of doing it a little bit, but, but it's starting to look a lot more like that center panel. And the Atom seems to be doing it a little bit faster, but they're all starting to look kind of like that center panel, especially the Meguiars. Okay, we can see right here the Atoms, if we look at it here, the Meguiars and the control panel are looking the same while we see the Atoms having a little bit less water on there. But let's hit it again with the water to see if there's any water beating or anything. So they both look really flat, and if you look at the evaporation rate, they're both evaporating at kind of the, uh, Adams is definitely gonna be faster. So again, we've lost all hydrophobic properties. The Meguiar, the Adams obviously sheeted really fast compared to both the other ones, and now the control panel and the Meguiars are, she are um, sheeting at about the same rate. So an, uh, an interesting point that I just thought about right now, you could see when I was using the blower, especially initially, I was able to get this panel almost completely dry without having to use a towel at all. And now you could see with a little bit more time spent behind the blower, the Adam side has less water, the control panel still has the most, Meguiar's has a little less, but the point is across the board, there's significantly more water on the panel uh, or, or there was more, uh, it was harder, excuse me, to get the water off the panel than with the water beads. So when we talk about water beading, yes, it's cool to see, but where, you know, it comes from the tunnel wash industry because in a tunnel wash, when they sell those waxes or whatever at the end, the point is, is that they're spraying it on the car to make the water bead and then, they go through the blower and it's a lot easier to get water off a car when it has beaded up or, or it's a lot easier to blow water off a car when the water has beaded up versus the water sheeting off so a little fun fact there it's though it's the water beating is not great for the car if the water if the water is going to stay on the car water beating is good 
uh, or, or can be beneficial rather if you're drying the car immediately. But if you're not gonna dry the car immediately, you're gonna have some water spot issues there. So just interesting thing to, to note. That's what's so fun about these tests is there's always a hidden, hidden tests going on, not because I'm brilliant, just because it is what it is. Like, how good is this green tape? Oh, the adhesion isn't breaking, right? Or we found out optimum no rinse will kind of make water bead a little bit and kind of mess with the test. We saw the wax shops soap kind of make water go completely flat. So this will be the last uh, one. This is super clean here. This will be the last product in the torture test. And then I have a little sneak peek thing that I want to mess with towards the end here. So, all right, let's get this residue off here. Wow, look at all that residue. I would pick Optimum Power Clean over Super Clean any day of the week. Super Clean is nasty to work with. It dries out your hands. Look at that though. That took a significant dump right there. Wowzers. Hit it with the wet towel. And again, the purpose of the wet towel is just to remove any remaining residue to get a true read on the surface. Now let me get the hose back here. Let's see what, let's see what we got going on. Do we have any water beating at all? Uh, I'd call that pretty dang flat there, boys and girls. Killed it, I think. What do you guys think? Leave me your opinions in the comments below. Though the Adams is trying to fight it pretty good. Again, this doesn't mean that there's nothing there. It just means, you know, for purposes of the test, this is kind of what I'm going by is the water behavior. So, okay. So now that I think it's safe to say that we've killed both products, they're all kind of evaporating the same. Let's again, take the Meguiar's ceramic hybrid wax and see if just simply, re uh, and this is just for fun. This is not me trying to pump Meguiar's. This is simply for fun. I don't think this is the best way to even use this product, but it is recommended. Let's see if we just spray it on the panel. So if you have, say you have Adams as a base layer coat and you wanna pick up something cheap, so you pick up the Meguiar's hybrid ceramic just as a, top coat kind of deal. Let's see if you just apply it like that. Say you lay down the atoms and you've got no water behavior anymore, right? Maybe you go through winter, it's horrible. You have no water behavior. Can you pick up just the Meguiar's and kind of spray it on, rinse it off, which is not an application method I recommend, but it is uh, suggested. I recommend using about half the amount that I just sprayed on that panel and rubbing it in to get full coverage, but let's just have fun. So let's see if we could get that water beating behavior back. And I think this is interesting. Look at how the Adams water beads came back a little bit more uh, circular. Let me wipe it off with a wet towel. And the, the Meguiar's did not come back nearly as circular as they were originally. So the Adams came back a little bit more circular. <clears throat> the Meguiar's definitely not as circular as before. Let's wipe it with residue. Do this one more time and this will kind of conclude the video here. Hmm, that is really hard to tell. We did get, we actually got some water behavior out of both of them, so that's, that's nice. I would definitely say, in my opinion, that the Adams water beading is a little bit more close to the original than the Meguiar's was. But again, look at even that little last squirt right there. You can kind of doctor it a little bit if you choose to. I would venture to say that Adams is probably still there. I don't know. I would love to hear your guys' opinion 
in the comments below. Let me know which one you, you feel did better and uh, if you think the Adams is still there. All right, everyone, that concludes this video. What did you think? I'm interested to hear in what your thoughts were of not only this video, but of these two very interesting products. Did you like the Meguiar's more? Did you think its beading was tighter? Did you like the shape of the beads or was the Adams a little bit tighter of beads? And did you like those? Do you like the price point of the Meguiar's better? Would you use it more often if it was cheaper? Would you sag back because the Adams is a little bit more expensive? What are your thoughts, feelings, opinions, emotions? I want to hear those in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you'll choose to hit that subscribe button and you can get alerted with more videos just like this. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. See ya.